It's been two weeks since uh, Hawaii Robinson's body was found in that trash pile off Rebel Road in Pritchard. And we were thinking we'd get some new information at a news conference at 1.30 today with the DA's office and all of this other uh, activity started breaking over in Pritchard. We don't know if they're connected, but we know the DA is going to have some clarification possibly coming up. Let's go live now to Christian Jennings. She's in downtown Mo Mobile right now. I believe you are at Metro Jail, if I'm correct, Christian. That's exactly right, Darwin. We have been here at Metro Jail. As soon as we heard all of the activity was going on over in Pritchard, we wanted to make sure that we were here at the intake facility uh, just to be here when someone, if and when someone is brought to this facility. When someone is arrested in Mobile County and they are brought to jail, this is their first stop. So if an arrest is made, we will be here to let you know and relay that information to the public. I did, however, just speak with Lori Miles. She's the spokesperson for the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. I talked to her just a couple of minutes ago and she told me, as far as she knows, there are no planned arrests for today. Of course, things can always change, so we'll have to wait and see, but that is what she said, no planned arrests for today. Now, there is that press conference that you just mentioned at 1.30 with the DA, District Attorney Ashley Rich. She should be able to shed some light on, on all of this, answer a lot of our reporter questions and questions that many people in the community have been having for the past couple of weeks. Uh, so we'll learn the latest in the Hawaii Robinson homicide case at 1.30. Darwin. Okay, and uh, Christian, I guess it's important to say uh, last time this happened, when it was social media rumors, there was a big crowd that gathered down there and it was a big mess. But one thing that I think is important to note, and we'll stress it again for that very reason, uh, you're telling us no arrests, according to Lori Miles with the Sheriff's Department, anticipated today at the jail and no we're not expecting anyone down there we'll learn more probably much more at that news conference at 1 30. all right we're going to let you right, go exactly there. because that let can obviously create a dangerous situation if people gather at the jail and gather when the police are trying to do their job okay all right so uh, in other words stay at home and you're going to learn it quicker here i guarantee you than you will if you go down to the jail because we will get it on the air if whatever it is coming out live at 1 30. thank you christian we're going to have that news conference live at 1 30 right here and once again our folks are standing by they'll be bringing us any information that we get in this case